Hey guys, welcome to another video. I um, hope you guys are liking these, and if you are, let me know. Comment them, and like them, ask me questions, so I know to keep doing it. Um, I do have a party coming up, unofficial Arbonne party, um, at my house, 17th for brunch. Make protein pancakes and sausage and eggs and some sort of orange juice beverage because I'm pregnant and I'm going to be born. Um, so that's the 17th at 10 a.m. at my house. Contact me if you're interested. Um, I'd love to have you there. And we're just going to go through fun things, makeup and face wash and all sorts of fun things. So if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I did a, f a video on foundation, Arbonne's foundation, um, which I reviewed as really airy and light. And this guy telling you the difference between C, C cream and then um, Arbonne's, like, or just foundation in general. And then also, when I did that video, I said that if you use CC cream, you can use it as like a primer and it's a color corrector. So that's what I already did with my face today. I already went ahead and did all my foundation and I kind of mixed the two together. Um, and you can kind of see the, the look I have going on here. It's a, lot, a little more airbrushed looking, a little more full and the kind of just obviously boring because it's just foundation, but it's there. Um, I just really want to speak to the fact that I haven't slept in a week because I'm, I haven't slept in forever because I'm eight months pregnant. So I've just really been using the um, Arbonne eye cream and it's been really helping me not have such intense moon eyes. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, bronzer and how to use it. So what I have used in the past is Bobbi Brown's browns, bronzer and it looks like this. I liked it because it was a lighter brown and it was kind of golden and shimmery. I liked the golden shimmery, but sometimes golden shimmery was a bit much, you know? It was just like, my face looks like a shiny golden hue and I just had to learn to use bronzer correctly, which is what I'm going to tell you. I don't really like using bronze or bobby brown now because I know that everything's made in China, which means the animals have definitely been tested on it. But one thing about bronzer is that it is kind of expensive up front, but it lasts forever. I bought this in 2015 and there's still some stuff left in it. Um, that's the only reason why I keep using it, but I found out shortly after I bought it what Bobby Brown stands for. I'm not super proud of it, so I kind of will never buy from her again. And then Arvon's um, bronzer looks a little different. It's more of a matte. Um, not shimmery and a little dark and I won't lie to you I saw this and I was a little freaked out because I'm a pale person and I'm like I don't really want to use this dark bronzer on my skin I'm gonna look really stupid because bronzer usually doesn't come in multiple colors because blots blush bronzer its purpose is to promote healthy looking skin a glow um, a natural looking tan it just the idea is healthiness you know just giving your skin a, a glow to it um, it's different than contouring. Contouring is separate entirely, but it's just there to promote that. Um, bronzer can be used any time of the year. I would say especially in winter, not the opposite where people are like, use in summer. Because summertime you're already tan, so I would say use it less in the summertime. I would use it um, more to even out your tans. Um, and then in the winter time, it just gives you more like of a glow, which I personally like because I'm super pale. Now, when you, you do a bronzer, there's two types of brush that is recommended. One is this like tapered type of brush that is like thicker on the bottom and kind of lightens out, okay? And then the other is a thicker fuller brush like this that is really thick and also kind of thins out on the top, but it's not as thin. So you can see the two differences. I'm not going to use this one because I got it for free and I don't really like it, so I actually let my daughter use this to play. But that's what a tapered brush looks like. Um, and now another mistake people do when they do bronzers is they dab it straight in there and they like rub it all over their face. You don't want to do that. That just won't look natural and doesn't look correct. Definitely never do that. Um, if you do this when you apply a foundation or a blush or bronzer, 
you're getting way too much product on the brush. And when you get way too much product on the brush, it kind of gives you a globby look, even if you try to spread it all out. Um, so that is that. I also want to say, I'm gonna go over translucent powders later on. Um, not in this video. What I would recommend is doing a setting powder though, like a little bit before you do the bronzer because it's going to help the bronzer do that glow nicely. Uh, not very much of it, just kind of dabbing it across your face. And I will go over um, setting powders later. Not in this video, but it does help your bronzer look better if you do a quick setting powder, like I just did, not took a lot of seconds. So anyways, when you apply a bronzer, it is best to go on its like this tip, like a side like this, and roll it, okay? So tip and roll. You shouldn't get too much excess when you do that. And then when you actually apply the bronzer, I like to do a three or an E on my face. You want to do it on the parts of your face that the sun's actually going to hit. So, or would naturally hit. So a forehead, all right, and your cheekbone right here. And then go down and then over, okay? So see how I'm making a three? It's like this, three. Down and over. Okay, and then I'll do it again to the side. Roll it, don't dip, roll. You don't want excess. Do the other side of my forehead, down below my cheekbone, and then down into my jawline. Okay, so just gonna retrace those steps, and that is all I'm gonna pat all the powder I'm gonna put on my face because I'm if you're darker skinned. You could probably do a little bit more, um, but I'm pale, so if I did too much, I would look funny. Okay, so making that E, brushing it in. Do you see the E I'm doing here, or the three? To think three or a capital E. Down below your cheek, down by your ear, and all across your jawline. Down and across your jawline, okay? And now, one thing that's super important when you do bronzer is you don't want to have your face look different than your neck. You know, same thing with foundation. Um, kind of, I have a sunburn right now, so no matter what I do, I'm gonna have like makeup face and lobster neck. But um, generally, you would take this and you would spread it down, okay? I might add a little more to my brush, but not too much more, okay? Just going down across your neck, behind your neck, on your shoulders, down, so that way you just kind of get that sun-kissed look. And that is how you apply bronzer. And you can see that, um, you can see it just gives me like a nicer, healthier looking glow. And then obviously after this you would do your, um, blushes, your eye makeup, and kind of move forward. But that is the, the way a bronzer is supposed to look. Do not ever put it all over your face, because it just looks matty and weird. Not recommended. Um, I like our bones. I'm surprised myself that I liked it. It's a little dark for me, um, so I won't lie to you. I won't say that's my favorite bronzer I've ever used um, because it, it is darker and it isn't shiny. And I like the shinier tones, but Bobbi Brown's was a little too shiny. So I do like it. I think it's very useful. I do wish that um, our bond would have a uh, a bronzer that wasn't um, so matte, but they do have a, what they call a star light palette that has four different colors on it, one you can use for blush and bronzer, and that has a glow to it, and that can be used as a bronzer. So it's not technically a bronzer, but it can be used. And one day I hope to purchase it, and then I will review it, and it'll be awesome, and it'll be beautiful. Um, so they do have something that will look that way, it just is not technically a bronzer but it can act that way and it will be awesome. Um, but that is how you use a bronzer and don't be afraid of bronzer. People are afraid of it and look at it and don't want to do it, but do it. It just gives your skin a little healthier look, especially if you're um, paler or um, the sun hits you weird or if you have color correction issues or something like that. All right, so I've done my bronzer. I've told you what it does and the glow if you have questions. Let me know. I will post the product information. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, 
and then I will send, I'll just take a few photos as well. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me.